capturing black and white drama is our topic today on this special edition of Luminar Coffee Break, and it begins now. Hello, everyone, and welcome. So we have a new series that we're going to be starting with uh, for the next eight weeks. It's called Shoot This, Edit This. And the first half of the week, we'll talk about how to capture whatever the topic of the day is. And the second half of the week, we'll talk about how to edit them. And then we'll have you to have you submit those images, and we can work with them and talk to you and help you with those. All right? So let me just dive right in because our topic is awesome. It's unleashing the drama in black and white. And um, I'm gonna give you five quick tips on how to capture that drama in black and white photos. And then we're gonna review each one of those independently. All right, so the first tip is seek contrast. Second, emphasize textures. Third is simplify your composition. Four, is utilize strong lines and shapes. And then last is capture emotion, all right? So let's dive deeper into each one of those, all right? So from here, seek contrast. That's our first one. And with that, one of the key elements in creating dramatic black and white images is contrast. Look for scenes with a noticeable difference between light and dark areas. Strong contrast can be found in various subjects, you know, such as architecture, landscapes, or even portraits. Experiment with different lighting conditions, you know, such as harsh shadows or bright highlights to enhance the dramatic effect. Pay attention to the interplay between light and shadows and, and how it can add depth and intensify your composition. Next, Emphasize textures. So textures play um, a vital role in black and white photography as it can add a sense of depth and drama to your images. Seek out subjects with interesting textures, rough surfaces, weathered objects, or intricate patterns. Pay attention to how light falls on these textures and experiment with different angles to capture their full impact. Now by emphasizing textures, you can create a visually engaging uh, photographs that draws viewers into the scene. Simplify your composition. Now in black and white photography, simplicity is key. Remove any unnecessary elements that may cause distractions from the main subject or message you wanna convey. Strive for minimalist compositions that focus on single subject or a strong point of interest. Consider using negative space to enhance the drama and create a sense of isolation or solitude. Remember, less is often more in black and white photography. Utilize strong lines and shapes. Lines and shapes can add a dynamic element to your black and white images helping to guide viewers' eyes and create a sense of movement. Look for leading lines, you know, such as roads, bridges, or architectural elements that can draw attention to your main subject. Experiment with geometric shapes, you know, such as triangles or circles to add visual interest and drama. By incorporating strong lines and shapes, you can create a visually striking composition that captures the viewer's attention. And my, the last one, capture emotion. To truly convey drama in black and white photography, it's essential to capture genuine emotions, whether you're photographing people, animals, or even inanimate objects, uh, focusing on capturing moments that evoke strong feelings. Pay attention to facial um, expressions and body language and overall mood of the scene. Black and white has a way of intensifying emotion, so strive to capture the essence of the moment and tell a, a compelling a story through your image. So let's review the five again. 
see contrast, well, contrast, textures, composition, lines and shapes, and emotion. Now, I'm going to give you a fifth one, a bonus. Put your camera, um, use the black and white feature in your camera if you have it. Set it to black and white. And this way, you're actually going to be able to see in real time if the scene you're about to photograph has a lot of contrast that you're looking for in, in the, um, the image itself. And keep in mind, if you're shooting in camera raw and you photograph that black and white, when you go to edit it, Camera Raw is going to strip all of that black and white information and go right back to the color. So a way around that is to shoot JPEG and Raw together if you want to use the camera's built-in feature for black and white. All right? Now, I said we have an assignment. Here's your assignment. Put these tips into practice by embarking on a black and white photography assignment Find a subject or a scene that you believe has a potential for drama and emotion. Experiment with different lighting conditions, compositions, and angles to capture the essence of the moment. Remember to focus on contrast, textures, simplicity, lines, and shapes, and emotion, emotional impact of your chosen subject. Finally, review the select uh, the select for your best, I'm sorry, <laughs> finally review and select your best black and white images and share them with others to elicit their reaction and for their interpretation, all right? So that's your assignment. Now, if you think, you know, Vanelli, that's a lot you threw at me, you can either rewind this and watch it again, or I did something special for you. I wrote an article in Photo Focus called Mastering Drama in Black and White, photographing black and white photography, five essential tips. And I have each of these tips right here. And at the very, very end, there's the assignment right there. All right. So we have that there, photofocus.com. Just search for it and you'll see it on there. All right. Well, guys, thank you. And I'm really excited about the next eight weeks with this shoot this, edit this series. I feel it's going to make all of us just better photographers, not to mention the fact at the end of the eight weeks, you're going to have some great images for a portfolio. Um, and then what we will have you do is upload them to our Slick Pick portfolio to where we could view them, look at them, you can share, ask for, ask for uh, critiques, and so on. All of that's coming down the line. We just wanted to get the series out first, but food for thought. All right, that'll be a great way for you to build your own slick pick portfolio. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. If you're here, please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment. For everyone else, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next coffee break.